I just made a video about Aduro, uh, how a very popular YouTube channel visited Aduro and made a video about Aduro. And now, this morning, they have a press release uh, adding another multi-billion dollar company to its customer engagement program. Now, we are to number six. They have six multi-billion dollar companies in its customer engagement program. I can't keep up with them. And you see... This is not normal. This is unusual for multi-billion dollar companies to be paying a company like Aduro to test their technology. Usually, these multi-billion dollar companies, the way they operate is that they, they know that they have the upper hand and they are like, well, you, here, here, here's the material. You test it. Uh, we're not going to pay you anything. You do it on your own dime. And, you know, when you come up with results, maybe you will be interested. Maybe we won't. You see, people don't realize this, that this is so unique that Aduro is actually getting paid, paid money to test uh, these, this feedstock for multi-billion dollar companies. That's crazy. Um, so let's go ahead and, and read some of the press release. Uh, Aduro Clean Technologies welcomes a multinational building materials company into its customer engagement program. Aduro, a Canadian technology company using the power of chemistry to transform lower value feedstocks like waste plastic, heavy bitumen, and renewable uh, oils into resources for the 21st century, is excited to announce the onboarding of a leading multinational building materials company, MBM company, or the client, to its customer engagement program. MBM company with extensive manufacturing operations across over 20 countries and a global distribution reach generates multi-billion multi -billion dollar annual revenues. Hello. The client is recognized for its vast range of building materials and is dedicated to promoting sustainability through material circularity, emphasizing the uh, recycling and reuse of materials across its product lines. Their extensive product line in, uh, includes solutions for infrastructure, energy systems, municipal sewer, ventilation, and water treatment. So it's a... It's a building materials company. And so at first, at first I was confused. I was like, well, how would they, why would they want to test this technology? Because this is not like, you know, you have plastic bottles that, you know, are thrown away and, and they need to do something with them. I mean, this is a company that like makes, let's say, plastic pipes and then they get put in houses. Well, I mean, those houses are built. It's not like that that plastic, it, it's, it's, you know, thrown away and needs to be recycled. So I learned that when the plastic is made, there's a lot of waste. Uh, and this company is looking to, you know, do something with the waste, right? Be responsible, recycle their waste. So that's where, that's where I was like, oh, okay, I got it. Uh, the engagement will begin with a technical evaluation project focused on assessing the potential of hydrochemolytic technology for recycling cross-linked polymers, a key material in the client's product range. The test samples will be sourced from waste streams at client's production facilities. Cross-linked polymers, essential and versatile materials, are fo foundational across a myriad of industries due to their superior durability, chemical resistance, and mechanical strength. They are ubiquitous and found in everyday items such as automotive tires, rubber tires, conveyor belts, seals, tubes, hoses, household adhesives, protective coatings, and medical devices. Moreover, their significance extends to critical sectors like 
aerospace, automotive construction, and electronics, where their exceptional properties are indispensable. However, uh, the very attributes that make uh, cross-linked polymers invaluable also pose a significant recycling challenge. Unlike uh, thermoplastics, these materials do not melt under heat. Instead, they are exceedingly difficult to de decompose when subjected to the very high temperatures necessary for their breakdown. Their primary, they primarily degrade into char and fuel gas substances unsuitable for repurposing into new materials. This limitation not only underscores the need for innovative recycling technologies, but also highlights the urgency for, of developing sustainable life cycle management strategies for cross-linked polymers. Testing cross-linked polymer samples presents a promising opportunity, Eric Appleman, CRO at Aduro highlighted. These materials commonly found in the recycling stream are generally downcycled into char, a process that significantly underutilizes their potential. HCT's ability to recover these materials could not only improve conversion yields, but also signal a major shift in how the industry views waste management and material recovery, opening up new avenues for innovation and profitability. Our dedication to providing customer-centric solution is at the heart of what we do, commented Offer Vicast CEO at Aduro. By listening to and understanding our clients' unique needs and challenges, we learn valuable insights that help us advance our commercialization path and also allow us to offer tailored uh, solutions that drive real value while unlocking untapped markets and sustainable economic value. So multi-billion dollar company number six. I mean, I don't know. Can it get any better? Seven, eight, what um, Offer Vikas was saying or, or maybe it was Eric, that it's like a pipeline. You get, you get customers into customer engagement program, and then some of them will become collaborators, and some of them will build the recycling unit or a system, how they would call it. So their goal is to convert like a couple, at least a couple of uh, entities in the customer engagement program into collaborators. Uh, but now I feel like the situation with Aduro in terms of awareness, investor awareness, it's like water about to boil. I mean, we just, they just keep adding and adding. And they're not, they're, they're only dealing with multi-billion dollar companies. I feel like their requirement is uh, questionnaire number one: Are you a multi-billion-dollar company? If so, we'll uh, we'll accept you to the customer engagement program. If you're not, take a number and and wait until we deal with multi-billion-dollar companies. It's unreal. Like they have six now in the program. So how many of those will uh, become collaborators? Only time will tell. How many of them will eventually build the system? Only time will tell. But this press release is about another multi-billion dollar company being added, that's number six, to the Aduro's customer engagement program.